we're going to answer the question, how does the surface affect the force needed to move a basket? We'll use a spring scale for this, and this measures the force needed to move an object in newtons. This spring scale goes from 0 to 5 newtons. So we're going to move it across a table first, and it seems that it takes 1.5 newtons to move the basket. We're doing three trials to make sure that it is the same each time, which it is. So we'll record the data. It's 1 and 5 tenths newtons. Now let's try on the carpet. I kept everything the same except for the surface. Now it's on a carpet. When we move it across, it comes out as 4 and 5 tenths newtons. We can try it again with for two trials to make sure we get the same data. And it looks like we do. So we'll record 4 and 5 tenths newtons for this. Now let's look over what we have. We asked the question, how does the surface affect the force needed to move a basket? And my hypothesis was that if, if I pull a basket across a table and a rug, then I think it will take more force to move the basket across a rug because the rug is softer. You can see the data is recorded. I have the surface, the table, and the rug, and I have the data from the three trials, which, lucky for us, is all the same. Now we can make a conclusion. So let's answer the question. How does the surface affect the force needed to move a basket? Well, it does require more force to move the basket across the rug than the table. Why? We'll take a look at that next.